Chains. So like this is like my shelf, my shelf, my shelf. And then like something just stays out of it completely. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. You know what time it is? So, Couples vlogs! Oh my god, right please. Okay, so we're headed over to my new apartment. Yes, I have moved. Currently, we are in Florida right now. So that's like a, a big change. Yeah? Close, huh? We're living together. This is interesting. It's gonna be organized. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. It's gonna be entertaining. So right now, we're gonna head over there. I got some content to shoot for Savage, Fen Savage X Venti. And then. Um, we're just gonna go furniture shopping or like kind of look around and see what we can find. Uh, the apartment is so nice. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. It's really, really, really cute. It's amazing. My mom did my hair this morning. Um, I had to cut it. It actually was like down to here, but now we have cut it back up to here. I just had a lot of, well, it wasn't even really damaged. It was just more so that my hair was uneven. It all wasn't all one length. So I wanted to cut it the only length so I could grow. Hopefully it grows back faster than before, especially now that I'm back in Florida. My mom can like help me with my hair situation. But day three, and he's getting on my nerves already. We're going to see a, a counselor. Apparently I'm immature. He's mature. Because you are though. You know that you are. That's the thing. He's young-minded. Uh. You'll thank me when I'm 67 and I'm not an old grumpy. Can't say, can't say bitch on each other. Oh, grumpy bitch? Yeah. Why would you have to say? Because I know a lot of old grumpy bitches. Okay. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Uh, immature. And mature. And mature. I love it. Mm. Do I know? You're immature too. I am. It's okay though. Exactly. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah, it's great. Don't want to tell you right But it's only okay when I do it. It's right there. Isn't that home goods? I don't like home goods. Why not? I got too much stuff. That's the purpose of home goods, to find things. <laughs> got too much one up. We got we got we got a lot of stuff yesterday. Not a lot of stuff. We got some very valuable things yesterday. We looked at seven hundred things, got three. But that's the purpose. Like, oh, there's out of those seven hundred things, you find something. I'm going to walk in the store, I see it, I want okay, I'm out. Ten minutes. <sighs> I hate going shopping with Jermaine. He's like, do you need this? No. And then that always makes me second guess and then I don't get it. And then you save your money and you look at your credit card statement at the end of the month and you say, yes. This nigga is on to something. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's very mature. so being mature today. It's actually insane. No, I don't know. No. Wait till three o'clock. Wait, is it three o'clock? It's four. Oh shit, I'm late. <laughs> we made it to the apartment. I'm about to give you guys a empty apartment tour right now i'm at the front door this is you know this is the walkway so right now we have here our laundry room and it's full size which i really really love like i think that's just amazing um my mom actually has the same one and i'm just like you just put so much in there like a lot of clothes comforters things like that i love that they have storage up here where you can like Fold clothes or have, you know, all the laundry stuff kind of up there, like the, the laundry detergents and stuff like that. Um, hangers, things of that nature. We have, we just bought um, a laundry basket that we're gonna put in this corner from home because I'm gonna show you guys once I get to the bathroom area. So that is the front. And then right over here, when you keep walking, there is the storage closet, whatever. This is like for coats and shoes. Little cute closet right here. And if you keep on walking, you see Jermaine standing right there. <laughs> this is the kitchen area, it's super nice. Um, I'm in love with this kitchen. First of all, I love the cabinets. Love, love, love the island. I've always wanted one of these, like just, you know, to be able to like actually do more cooking and stuff. My other apartment was really small, so that was just kind of a bummer, but I'm gonna start over here. This is more storage space, so pantry, or as Jermaine calls it, a cupboard. It's a chip closet. A chip closet. Here, there's a bunch of storage all across there, on the bottom here. 
a mirroring. Thing that we have some light situation down here too, which I really like. Um, stove, microwave. Right over here is the dishwasher. I love that this sink is pretty deep, as one may say. More storage right here. I love the um, light fixtures as well. It's really nice. If you like it, you like it. Then the refrigerator is one of my favorites too because you have like the dispenser right here. Some apartments, a lot of apartments don't come with a refrigerator like this, like with a dispenser. It's always Wayne, kind of like inside or. The times was it not yeah. Then this is the living area slash dining area, but I think we're just probably gonna have just a living area. Rain doesn't want me to buy. Yeah, right. He doesn't want me to buy a, a, a what do you call it? Dining table. Dining table. Bro, this is a dining table. No, this is not a dining table. Alright, hear me out. Stool, 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 table. This is a dining table. No, but if people come over and they want to sit down and all that, you like. Okay. I think I'm gonna put the TV over this side, a sectional here. Really, really cute. And then we have a balcony area, which is, what I really like is because it has the net, so no mosquitoes and all that stuff. And then right here in the back, you got a little pond and a track that I definitely plan on utilizing. Not yet. I'm gonna utilize it, it's gonna be used. Um, Probably get some furniture for the balcony just to sit outside and stuff like that so this is our area our room uh the reason why i chose this one is you'll see because of the bathroom but again have like a nice pretty nice window here you can see the back area pond and uh we're gonna go over to the closet love the closet area one of the closets walk in this is the laundry basket i'll tell you guys about too that we're gonna put on the other side because got this from home kids if you're interested, super cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is my closet. Chill, 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 it's chill, my chill, closet. Chill, chill, chill. It's my closet. I have a shelf here. Here's a shelf. Let a nigga get a shelf. Then we have the bathroom area. All right, so this is the first bathroom. We got double sinks, his and her sinks, and the van. Oops, excuse me. The vanity area. It's my outfit. Yes. Mm -hmm, girl. Mm -hmm. Towel thing. Got plug here, here, and here, which I love because you know, getting ready and stuff like that. Toilet here. My favorite part is the shower girl. We got dual shower heads. Jermaine likes to take really cold showers. I like to take really hot showers. It's the best. It's the best. We're gonna go to the other side. Walk to the other side. This is Jermaine's office. This is gonna be his room, his place where he does his thing. Um, it's a cute little room. It's like very square, so it's a little bit smaller than the other room that we just came out of, but it's, it's nice, especially if it's an office. Then we have another closet. I'm gonna turn on the light here. So this closet. is all mine. This so is, this like, is Jermaine's. Like so like this is like my shelf, my shelf, my shelf, and then like something just stays out of it completely. Um, I'm thinking about grabbing a lock, just to make sure she stays out. All right, okay, off. anyway. The second bathroom. Pretty big in here too. I love this because it has more storage space. Love that. Same thing with the uh, drawers and stuff like that. Just a lot of storage space. Toilet. Um, it doesn't have a walk-in shower, but it has like a regular shower. Same shower head though. Um, and a tub. Tub is pretty decent size. Not the biggest, but I mean, I will be uh, using this bathroom because I really like taking the baths. It's not my thing. I mean, I like to bathe, but I don't like taking I like sitting in the tub, that's not my thing. This is my office slash closet slash workspace. So I get the biggest room. <laughs> I get the biggest room. This one I really love because I have those pack wardrobes from Ikea and I think it's gonna fit in here perfectly. If I step back just a little bit more, you kind of get like more of the gist of this room. So yeah, it's a little bit bigger than um, our actual bedroom, but that's okay because I won't probably be spending that much time in there. And then there's another closet. Another closet, so I have a lot of things. A lot, a lot of things. But yeah, also I really love that they have ceiling fans here. My last apartment, can you believe it? My last apartment in LA did not have ceiling fans or light fixtures in the in the top of the, um, in the room. I had to bring my own lamps and all that. It was just a pain in the ass. That is pretty much our apartment, empty apartment tour. And I wish I could show you guys amenities and stuff like that, but I can't really show you guys that because I don't know what, some people to know where I live. Um, but I really, really love this apartment complex. It's really great, especially when 
trying to transition to buying a home next year and things like that so this is just for temporary purposes but i feel very very comfortable here and just a lot a lot better than when i was in la like coming here and having way more space and it costs a lot less it's just a more peace of mind type of thing so i'm um, definitely going to do more vlogs and stuff as more as i like start to decorate and things like that so let me know if you guys are interested in that my hair is officially sweated out <laughs> i just went outside to take some pictures but i kind of want to give like a brief reason why i moved away probably wondering like okay this is a sudden move why First reason was because of the distance from my family. I was starting to feel really alone before actually COVID happened. Um, but COVID really was the reason what made me push to actually move from LA. Um, I ended up coming back home for a while and it took a lot of thinking over, honestly. Like, should I do this? Should I move? This is one of the cities that I felt like were so, it was just a lot of opportunity there, a lot of business, a lot of reason why I moved there was because of music, was because of YouTube, was because it just gave me a lot of opportunity to actually do things that I set out to do for my career. When COVID happened, it kind of put a lot into perspective for me that a lot of things can be done remotely and you don't have to necessarily be in that city. Um, so that was one of the reasons. Another reason was financially, it was just so expensive. LA is just completely overpriced. And what kind of scared me a little bit was the fact that, you know, and I'm just gonna be completely honest, everything stopped. <laughs> everything stopped for about two, three months. And it put, it really just woke me up. It woke me up. I don't know if it woke up a lot of other people, but it woke me up in the fact of like, hey, like, this business, this everything, you know, can be taken away within a blink of an eye, and um, as much as it was, as much as I could afford to live in LA, I just wanted to be smart about my money. I wanted to be smart about where I'm putting my money, and I don't have, I don't own anything. I don't own a home. I just live in an apartment. Like, I, those are a lot of things that I've always wanted to have, and. When COVID happened, it just put a lot of perspective, like, hey, you need to save, you need to get an asset, you need to, you know, be smart about where you're spending your money, where you're putting your money, and um, LA just was kind of sucking me dry, and I was just kind of like a hamster wheel of me spending money and living there, and like, yes, I was seeing a return, but asset-wise, um, investing-wise, no, and so, I decided, even though it was hard to make that decision because I have a lot of unfinished business in LA and I'm gonna be back there. Um, I just decided like, hey Symphony, if you wanna have a better future, you need to make some risks. You need to take some more risks and you need to be smart. And so I decided to come back to Florida and save my money and me and Jermaine are planning on, you know, buying a house <laughs> and having an asset and things like that and it's just a lot that that aside from those things there's a lot that just like emotionally and and i know that god was talking to me and letting me know like this is the right decision for you you need to do this so you know i'm back home with my family one which feels really good but also you know i'm working towards something and um as much as i'm gonna miss la and as much as like i really loved being there um it just made me understand my own power and the things that I can do without actually having to physically be somewhere. And um, I just know that like this is one of the one of those things that you just have to take a risk and you have to listen to when God is talking to you. And I know that He is, so I, I feel really at peace with it. Um, it was a hard decision in the beginning. I really didn't want to let go because I was just like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to feel like a failure. Like I didn't do what I set out to do. But at the end of the day, I know that this decision is going to only just benefit me better. And um, I feel really, really good about it. And plus I get to live with my love and I get to be with him all the time now. And it feels really good. So saying all that to say, I'm back in Florida, I have a familiar, that's one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why. I know it kind of seems like sudden and I didn't really talk about it, but I just wanted to like make this transition peacefully without like so much chaos, even though it was very chaotic. <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's gonna be more vlogs and things like that. I hope you guys are ready because I'm finally feeling good and just ready to like, you know, be back on YouTube again. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.